science has shown us that we need to increase the amount of milkweed stems from 1.3 to 1.8 billion stems. Billion. Billion with a B. Greetings. I am joined today by Chris Stein, who is with the National Park Service and has been so uh, as a park ranger for more than 40 years. He is also a member of the Twin Cities Eco Club. And also joining me is Ella Phillips. She is the Director of Development of Monarch Joint Venture. And both of them are incredibly passionate about preserving and saving our pollinators and in particular, monarch butterflies. Welcome to you both. And Ella, let me begin with you. Tell me a little bit about what are pollinators and why are they so critical to our, our globe? Pollinators are the, the insects and the bees and the birds that carry pollen from one plant to another to allow for fertilization or sometimes from within the plant, um, which leads to kind of our healthy, healthy food system. Um, we know that pollinators uh, are responsible for one of every three bites of food that we have. So pollinators are critical to our food system and our ecosystem. Chris, tell us a little bit about what it's like looking in at planet Earth right now on this issue. 85% of the green on the planet is the direct result of insect pollinators. 85%, that's, that's a lot. But sadly, uh, in just the past 50 years, pollinators have declined by more than 45% across the globe is what scientific research tells us. Building on what you just said, that you know this, this incredible dramatic decrease in a 50-year window, why has that happened? There are three primary reasons, and I think they can all be couched in climate change. You know, changing climate is allowing parasites to thrive more. As we become more involved in industrial agriculture, the, the application of pesticides on the landscapes does affect this, but loss of habitat, uh, that is really what the project I work with, Operation Pollination, focuses on, trying to create habitat spaces for pollinators, and also trying to educate people about, about pollinators. So what can we do to reverse trends? Creating habitat in your backyard makes a difference. Every little bit makes a difference in this world, and we know that healthy habitat is one of the very best things that you can do. Monarchs in particular, we know that in order to sustain the population, um, we need to increase the amount of milkweed. Milkweed is the host plant for monarch butterflies. That is the only plant that they lay their eggs on, and it is the only plant that monarch caterpillars will eat. Science has shown us that we need to increase the amount of milkweed stems from 1.3 to 1.8 billion stems. Billion. Billion with a B, stems of milkweed across the breeding area, and that's just in North America alone. Rotary members are doers. Use our networking skills to speak to community members. Collaboration with all sectors, uh, not-for-profit, for-profit, small, large, government, non-government. Everybody is called upon to do their share in what they can do. Thank you so much for this really great conversation. It's been a joy to be able to speak with you both today. And thank you for the call to action. Thank you for putting us on notice. And so let's go plant some milkweed. Sounds good. Wonderful.